Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new Resident Evil video. Today, I guess we're going to be going over all the information that we know about Resident Evil Outrage, one of the upcoming Resident Evil games slated for this year or early next year. Now, we're going to be jumping into all the information that we currently do know about, but I really want to preface, take everything that you hear in this video with a grain of salt because I could even be wrong or some of the sources that I provide in this video could be wrong but again some of these sources have been legit in the past but again everything is subject to change and I just really want to preface that but without further ado let's just jump right into today's video Resident Evil Outrage is the next installment in the Resident Evil franchise and here's everything we know about Resident Evil Outrage. Outrage will have you play as Rebecca Chambers, one of the main characters of Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Outrage is slated for late 2021 or early 2022. It will be a third person survival horror game. Resident Evil Outrage has a had a playable test set in a college campus where there has been a virus outbreak and Rebecca is checking out what happened everyone there is turned and is attacking and Rebecca in one scene is in a library where she gets attacked by someone in the library it will be a Nintendo switch exclusive for a while then come out on other platforms Resident Evil Outrage is supposed to be Resident Evil Revelations 3 but it is still subject to change Outrage has a big budget like Village. The game has been in development for about four to five years. And this is one thing that to note, uh, and this is a recent rumor, Leon Kennedy will be the second playable character. Again, this is a recent rumor, nothing has been backed up, and there is not some credible information coming from this, but it is a recent rumor and I thought it was worth mentioning. So, well, that's pretty much everything we do know about uh, Resident Evil Outrage. Everyone, including me, really thought that they were going to showcase Resident Evil Outrage at E3 2021, but unfortunately they didn't, and the leading theory is that Resident Evil Village's hype is still is still too strong and they don't want to ruin it so they're waiting to showcase the game later when resident evil's hype has died down and also they did confirm that they are working on resident evil village's first dlc which there has been a lot of rumors and people think that it's going to be i have my own thoughts and you know i'm not gonna be jumping into that in today's video but yeah just wanted to mention that and unfortunately i did make a video think saying that they were going to showcase it uh, it would have been the perfect opportunity in my opinion but unfortunately they did not take that opportunity to showcase it i get the resident evil villages hype is still too strong and you know they don't want to lose value over that because at the end of the day it is still selling them a lot of copies for the game and at the end of the day they are a company man so they want to make as much revenue as possible and i don't blame them i mean it's a very very good marketing strategy but Time will tell when they're gonna, you know, reveal when the game is gonna come out and reveal the game itself. But that's gonna have to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy. If you guys did, drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and let me know what you guys think. And I'll let's see you guys in the next video. So here's to life.